Oh. Uh, this is lot 91, uh, Bay Philly by Farnan out of Jolly's Pearl. Uh, Star Thoroughbreds have just purchased her for $190,000. Uh, we've been quite keen to try and buy a Farnan at the, at the yearling sales this year. They've been making good money as, you, as uh, you know, if you look through the results, they've been selling particularly well. We have tried on a number of them previously, but unfortunately been blown out of the water. So to be able to buy a filly that we really liked for $190,000, I think is uh, a great result for Star and obviously anyone who wants to take a share in this filly. Uh, look, obviously Farnan, champion two-year-old by not a single doubt. He's also the sire of Extreme Choice, who's currently one of the best young stallions at stud, if not the best young stallion at stud in Australia. He's uh, currently averaging about 14% stakes winners to runners, uh, which is higher than all the other stallions, including I'm Invincible, Schnitzel, uh, Written, uh, Written Tycoon. So you think it's, it's a high percentage in those horses. So obviously, you know, great things are expected of fun and Golden Slipper went up by not a single doubt. We've seen, I've seen a lot of his yearlings this year. I've really liked them. I think he's a, a, a serious chance of being a, a good stallion. And so, you know, thrilled obviously to be able to afford to buy one of them, especially one that we really liked. She's a lovely big strong filly. Uh, she's a 27th of October foal, but she's got a lot of substance, a great hind quarter on her, good movement, nice bit of scope and length about her through her body. Uh, you know, a lot a filly with a fair bit of quality. Uh, she's out of a Fastnet Rock mare, and for those who, who may not know, Fastnet Rock is actually the leading broodmare sire in Australia as we speak. Uh, he's, I think his horses have earned something like $27 million so far this season in Australia. He's about $10 million clear of the second place broodmare sire, uh, which is in Costa de Lago. A particularly good broodmare sire is Fastnet Rock. Uh, this Jolly's Pearl, she's a full sister to Formality, who was uh, one of the best two-year-olds and three-year-olds of her generation. She won two group, run, two group two races in Sydney, the Silver Shadow and the Furious. She was also placed in the Coolmore Stud and Blue Diamond, both group one races. So she was a particularly good sprinting uh, filly by Fastnet Rock, a full sister to Jolly's Pearl. Grand Dam, Jolly's Shinju, she was Horse of the Year in Singapore, uh, won the Singapore Derby uh, and a, a number of other stakes races up there. Another, another very good mare. And if you look back through the, down the page, you'll see third dam by Danzig, fourth dam by Raisin Native. Um, you know, it's, it's, this is one of the better, actually one of the best families in the American stud book this filly comes from. So, <clears throat> We, you know, to be able to buy a filly that you really like by, by a, a really promising first season sire out of a Fastnet rock mare. Uh, we've got a bit of information from the stable that the half-sister parlayed by American Pharaoh had a lot of ability uh, and uh, was very lightly raced before going amiss, but she was well above average and uh, big things had been expected of her. She was able to win provincial around Sydney and then obviously she placed in Sydney but that was before she went amiss. It was only a matter of time before she won in Sydney but unfortunately uh, she wasn't able to realise that her true potential. So it's a mare that obviously can get a runner uh, and uh, yeah I mean we're thrilled to be able to buy her for 190000 well below the sale average and uh, yeah, great page and a really, really nice physical. Uh, if you know, if you do get to go and see this filly, I'm sure you'll be very impressed by her.